Chapter 1 Introduction to Multimedia Learning Objectives In this chapter, the users would learn the following aspects of introduction to multimedia. What is multimedia? Components of multimedia Web and Internet multimedia applications Transition from conventional media to digital media Introduction Welcome to the session on multimedia. This course will help you to understand the entire scope of the multimedia technology in multi-language environment. At the end of this session, you will be able to define what multimedia is, draw the components of multimedia, list the applications of multimedia in the current web and internet-based environment, differentiate conventional media from multimedia, describe the process of transition from conventional media to multimedia. Goals of this course there are three goals. Introduce the fundamental elements of multimedia. Explain the representations, perceptions and applications of multimedia. Emphasize the software skills and hands-on work in digital media. On completion of the course, the students will understand the technologies behind multimedia applications, master the skills for developing multimedia projects, summarize key components behind multimedia technology, Create quality multimedia software titles. What is multimedia? Multimedia is any combination of text, art, sound, animation, and video delivered to the user by computer or other electronic or digitally manipulated means. Multimedia production requires creative, technical organizing and business ability. Multimedia developers produce multimedia titles using authoring tools. Multimedia projects, when published, are multimedia titles. Multimedia is richly presented sensation. When we weave together the sensual elements of multimedia, dazzling pictures and animations, engaging sounds, compelling video clips, and raw textual information, we can electrify the thought and action centers of people's minds. When we give them interactive control of the process, they can be enchanted. A multimedia application is an application which uses a collection of multiple media sources, for example, text, graphics, images, sound, audio, animation, and a video. Multimedia elements are typically sewn together into a project using authoring tools. These software tools are designed to manage individual multimedia elements and provide user interaction. In addition to providing a method for users to interact with the project, most authoring tools also offer facilities for creating and editing text and images and controls for playing back separate audio and video files that have been created with editing tools designed for these media. History of Multimedia 1945, Bush wrote about Memex. 1966, the term multimedia was coined by singer and artist Bob Goldstein. 1969, Nelson and Van Damme Hypertext Editor at Brown 1971, Birth of the Internet and Email 1976, Architecture Machine Group Proposal to DARPA Multiple Media 1980, Lipman and Mole, Aspen Movie Map 1989, Tim Berners-Lee proposed the World Wide Web to CERN, European Council for Nuclear Research 1990, K. Hooper Woolsey, Apple Multimedia Lab, 100 People, Educational. 1994, Jim Clark and Mark Andreessen, Netscape. 1995, Java for Platform Independent Application Development, Duke is the first applet. 1996, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Question, is media singular or plural? Answer, plural. However, the term multimedia is used to describe multiple occurrences of only one form of media and is frequently used in the singular. Static content, such as paper book, may be considered multimedia if it contains both pictures and text, or may be considered interactive if the user interacts by turning pages at will. Books may also be considered nonlinear if the pages are accessed non-sequentially. Mixed media versus multimedia. A work on canvas that combines oil paint, newspaper collage, chalk, 
glass and ink, for example, could be called a mixed media work, but not multimedia. Multimedia art implies a broader scope than mixed media, as it involves creations combining visual art media with elements usually considered the proper domain of literature, drama, dance, filmmaking, or music. Interactive multimedia. When you allow an end user, also known as a viewer of multimedia project, to control what and when the elements are delivered, it is called interactive multimedia. A multimedia project need not be interactive to be called multimedia. Users can sit back and watch it just as they do a movie or television. In such cases, a project is linear or starting at the beginning and running through to the end. When users are given navigational control and can wander through the content at will, multimedia becomes non-linear and user interactive and is a powerful personal gateway to information. Interactive multimedia. Any computer delivered electronic system that allows the user to control, combine and manipulate different types of media such as text, sound, video, computer graphics and animation. Interactive multimedia integrates computer, memory storage, digital binary data, telephone, television and other information technologies. Interactive multimedia applications. The most common applications include training programs, video games, electronic encyclopedias, and travel guides. Interactive multimedia shifts the user's role from observer to participant and is considered the next generation of electronic information systems. There are certain characteristics and technologies that assist in creating an interactive environment. Some of these include mouse input, touch screens, voice commands, video capture, and real-time interaction. Hypermedia. When you provide a structure of linked elements through which the user can navigate, interactive multimedia becomes hypermedia. The concept of hypermedia can be described as a multimedia system in which related items of information are connected and can be presented together. Hypermedia provides for a network of information that can be accessed at the learner's own leisure and allows for greater flexibility and interactivity throughout the learning experience. It is assumed that hypermedia is a non-linear approach to multimedia as learners are given control through the provision of different links to a variety of information. Hypermedia can be considered as a web of interrelated information in which the user is in complete control of the pace and sequence and to a certain extent the choice of content of the presentation. Hypermedia versus Multimedia Hypermedia as an extension of the term hypertext is a non-linear medium of information which includes graphics, audio, video, plain text and hyperlinks. This contrasts with the broader term multimedia which may include non-interactive linear presentations as well as hypermedia. Hypermedia, Multimedia and Interactive Multimedia Multimedia is a combination of text, sound, animation or video that is delivered to people by computers or other electronic or digitally manipulated means. Interactive multimedia is related to the concepts of interaction design, new media, interactivity, human-computer interaction, cyber culture and includes specific cases such as, for example, interactive television, interactive advertising, social media, virtual reality and so on. Hypermedia includes links among any set of multimedia objects such as sound, motion video and virtual reality. It can also connote a higher level of user interactivity than the interactivity in interactive multimedia. General principles of hypermedia. Separation of information and links. Links allow to jump from one place in a document to another. The metaphor of navigation through information. Pieces of information can reside on networked computers, networked or distributed hypermedia. Distributed hypermedia as a new norm for all computing. World Wide Web is a particular implementation of hypermedia. Elements of Multimedia There are five distinct elements. Text, images, sounds, videos, animations. Text Text is the basic element of multimedia. It involves the use of text types, sizes, colors and background color. In a multimedia application, other media or screen can be linked through the use of text. This is what you call hypertext. To produce an effective multimedia program, there are three things that need to be considered. They are 
the position of text on the screen, length of the message, and legibility of the text. Graphics. Graphics make the multimedia application attractive. They help to illustrate ideas through still pictures. There are two types of graphics used. Bitmaps, paint graphics, and vector, draw graphics. Audio. A multimedia application may require the use of speech, music, and sound effects. These are called audio or the sound element. There are two basic types of audio or sound, analog and digital audio. Video. Video provides a powerful impact in multimedia program. In multimedia applications, the digital video is gaining popularity because of the following reasons. Video clips can be edited easily. The digital video files can be stored like any other file in the computer and the quality of the video can still be maintained. The video files can be transferred within a computer network. It allows non-linear editing in any part of the video. Animation Animation is a process of making a static image look like it's moving. In multimedia, digital animation is used. Digital animation can be categorized into two broad areas. 2D, two-dimension, and 3D, three-dimension animations. Interactivity Interactivity is considered by many as a sixth element in multimedia. In the e-learning context, interactivity can be termed as a dialogue that occurs between an individual and a computer program. Medium of multimedia There are three common media by which multimedia content can be delivered. Web, portable storage devices, mobile devices. Web-based multimedia Web-based multimedia is a combination of multimedia technology and Internet technology. Portable storage devices Portable storage devices have been used to store and deliver multimedia content. CDs and USB devices are usually used with computers. They can also be used in DVD, CD players, which can be connected to television. Mobile devices Mobile phones are no longer just communication devices, but offer a whole host of multimedia and entertainment options. The phone is no longer used for talking, and most phones, right from basic models, to smartphones and now tablets offer a gamut of multimedia features. For example, where music was once traditionally available only on CDs a few years ago, it's now quite common for a mobile user to download music directly using the phone via a website or a service provider's portal. Components of multimedia Computing elements required for a multimedia system are as follows. Capture input devices storage devices, communication networks, computer systems, display devices, capture input devices, keyboard and OCR for text, digital cameras, scanners, and CD-ROMs for graphics, MIDI keyboards, CD-ROMs, and microphones for sound, video cameras, CD-ROMs, and frame grabbers for video, mice, trackballs, joysticks, virtual reality gloves, and wands for spatial data. Modems and network interfaces for network data. Capture input devices. Keyboard. Keyboard is the most commonly used input device. Special keys may include numeric keypad, cursor control keys, and function keys. Mouse. Mouse is used to move pointer and select options. The mouse is the most widely used pointing device. A mouse is palm size. As a mouse is moved, its movements are mirrored by the on screen pointer. Joystick. Joystick is a stem device often used as input device for games. Pen input. Pen input uses pen to input and edit data and select processing options. Touch screen. In the touch screen, user interacts with computer by touching screen with finger. Digitizer. The digitizer is used to enter or edit drawings. Image scanner. The image scanner converts text graphics or photos into digital input. A scanner is similar to a photocopier as it shines a light onto the item to be scanned and then reads a light that is reflected. Optical character recognition. The optical character recognition uses light source to read codes, marks, and characters. Once scanned into the computer's word processor, text can be edited and saved. Sound input. Sound input converts sound into digital data. A microphone can be used to allow sound to be entered into a computer's memory. Most computers have inbuilt microphones or have an interface which allows a microphone to be plugged into the computer. Camera Video camera captures digital image of subject or object. 
It is used for taking movies and works in a similar way to a still camera, but the pictures are stored on a tape. A digital video camera can be connected to a computer system to upload movies. Storage devices. A data storage device is a device for recording, storing information or data. Multimedia systems require storage for large capacity objects such as video, audio, animation and images. A storage device may hold information, process information or both. A device that only holds information is a recording medium. Devices that process information, data storage equipment, may either access a separate portable, removable recording medium or a permanent component to store and retrieve information. Some of the major distinguishing characteristics of multimedia objects are Multimedia objects are large, large file sizes. Multimedia streams have stringent real-time requirements. Multimedia streams represent long and fairly constant, predictable loads. Multimedia streams usually have high bandwidth requirements. Multimedia objects tend to exhibit sequential access patterns within a given medium. Multimedia objects have real-time playback and in many cases, similar recording requirements. Video is somewhat scalable in the sense that its frame rate and to a certain extent, its window size may be varied to compensate for response time fluctuations without significantly perceptible adverse effects. Audio, on the other hand, has stringent timing requirements and needs virtually constant playback speed for acceptable quality. Hard disk. The hard disk is the main backing storage device inside the computer. Modern hard disk drives have a large storage capacity, usually between 120 to 200 gigabytes. This large storage capacity is ideal for multimedia presentations as these usually have large storage requirements. Optical disk. Greater capacity than other portable media. Process. Laser writes on metallic material spread over the surface of disk. Heat from laser produces pits on disk surface. Reading. Laser picks up light reflection from pits. Flash drives. Small storage devices that can be integrated with USB or fire wire devices. Can store between 8 megabytes to several GB of data. More reliable than disk drives. Small printed circuit board encased in sturdy metal or plastic. Usable, trendy and convenient. Communication devices. A communication device is a piece of equipment that was designed to move information from one place to another. They allow one computer device to communicate with another. There are many examples of communication devices that are used on a regular basis. Multimedia communication involves showing information in multiple media formats. Images, video, audio and text all are part of multimedia communication. A single instance of multimedia communication does not have to have all four components. Computer systems. A multimedia computer is a computer that is optimized for high multimedia performance, enabling rich multimedia experience. In general, the data size for multimedia information is much larger than textual information because the representation of graphics, animation, audio or video media in digital form requires much larger number of bits than that required for representation of plain text. Due to this, multimedia computer system requires faster CPU for quicker processing of large amount of data, larger storage devices for storing large data files, larger main memory for running programs with large data size, good graphics terminals for displaying graphics, animation and video, and input-output devices to play any audio associated with a multimedia application program. Output devices convey information to one or more people. Four forms of output, text, graphics, audio, video. Audio devices, they include sound chips and microphones. Amplifiers are required when the project has to be presented to a large audience or in a noisy setting. Speakers can be internal or external. Video devices, video creates a maximum visual impact. Video devices include video disc players and video cards. Video disc players provide precise control over the image being viewed. Video cards enable the user to place an image in a window on the computer monitor. Projectors. Projectors are used when you have a larger audience that can be accommodated around a computer monitor. The different types of projectors include cathode ray tube, CRT, liquid crystal display, LCD panels, tant alone LCD projectors, and light valve projectors. 
Conventional media to digital media. Digital media are any media that are encoded in a machine readable format. Digital media can be created, viewed, distributed, modified, and preserved on computers. Computer programs and software, digital video, web pages, and websites, including social media, data, and databases, digital audio, such as MP3s, and ebooks, are examples of digital media. Digital media are frequently contrasted with print media, such as printed books, newspapers and magazines, and other traditional or analog media, such as film or audio tape. Traditional media. Traditionally, media industries emerged because specific technologies were invented. Books, newspaper, printing, cinema, radio, celluloid photography, television, telephone, electronics. Traditional media industries provide broadcast service. Information is produced in one center and delivered from there, often physically. Example, CD recording industry. Traditional media industries were strictly separated. Technologies and distribution channels were different. For example, printing and television digital technology is universal. Every media type can be embedded in it, and it is not tied to physical media. Digital Media Revolution TV and radio are media with no physical carrier or electronic media, but they involve specific media representation, analog. Digital representation is universal, can represent anything and does not depend on specific carrier. Digital media integrates all traditional media industries. TV, digital TV, books, digital books, paper, digital paper, cinema, digital cinema, new media, web, games, and so on. New media, multimedia, digital, multiple media types, interactive, on-demand, that is non-broadcast. Information delivery breaking with physical carriers and transport, non-physical transport, electronic, network, wired, wireless. Applications of multimedia. Multimedia in business. Business applications for multimedia include presentations, training, marketing, advertising, product demos, simulations, databases, catalogs, instant messaging, and networked communications. Voicemail and video conferencing are provided on many local and wide area networks, LANs and WANs, using distributed networks and internet protocols. Multimedia in education. The ability of users to interact with a multimedia application is perhaps its most unique and important feature. This feature has a potential to change dramatically the way K-12 students learn. Interactive multimedia allows students to define their own learning paths, investigate topics in depth, and get immediate feedback from drill and practice or exploration activities. Multimedia applications also tend to engage and challenge students, thus encouraging them to think creatively and independently. Multimedia in home. Home. Most multimedia projects reach the homes via television sets or monitors with built-in user inputs. Multimedia in public places. Public places. Multimedia will become available at standalone terminals or kiosks to provide information and help. Virtual reality. At the convergence of technology and creative invention in multimedia is virtual reality or VR. Goggles. Helmets, special gloves, and bizarre human interfaces attempt to place you inside a lifelike experience. Take a step forward and the view gets closer. Turn your head and the view rotates. Reach out and grab an object. Your hand moves in front of you. Maybe the object explodes in a 90 decibel crescendo as you wrap your fingers around it. Or it slips out from your grip, falls to the floor, and hurriedly escapes through the mouse hole at the bottom of the wall. Other applications of multimedia. Engineering. Software engineers may use multimedia in computer simulations for anything from entertainment to training, such as military or industrial training. Multimedia for software interfaces are often done as a collaboration between creative professionals and software engineers. Industry. In the industrial sector, Multimedia is used as a way to help present information to shareholders, superiors, and co-workers. Multimedia is also helpful for providing employee training 
advertising and selling products all over the world via virtually unlimited web-based technology. Mathematical and Scientific Research In mathematical and scientific research, multimedia is mainly used for modeling and simulation. For example, a scientist can look at a molecular model of a particular substance and manipulate it to arrive at a new substance. Medicine In medicine, doctors can get trained by looking at a virtual surgery or they can simulate how the human body is affected by diseases spread by viruses and bacteria and then develop techniques to prevent it. Journalism Newspaper companies all over are also trying to embrace a new phenomenon by implementing its practices in their work. While some have been slow to come around, other major newspapers like the New York Times, USA Today and the Washington Post are setting the precedent for the positioning of the newspaper industry in a globalized world. It engages global audiences and tells stories with technology, which develops new communication techniques for both media producers and consumers. Recap Basics of Multimedia Multimedia is any combination of text, graphic art, sound, animation and video delivered by computer or other electronic means. Multimedia production requires creative, technical organizing and business ability. Multimedia presentations can be non-linear, interactive or linear, passive. Multimedia can contain structured linking called hypermedia. Multimedia developers produce multimedia titles using authoring tools. Multimedia projects, when published, are multimedia titles. Multimedia is appropriate wherever a human interacts with electronic information. Areas in which multimedia presentations are suitable include education, training, marketing, advertising, product demos, databases, catalogs, entertainment, and network communications. Multimedia projects often require a large amount of digital memory. Hence, they are often stored on CD-ROM or DVDs. Multimedia also includes web pages in HTML or DHTML, XML on the World Wide Web and can include rich media created by various tools using plugins. Websites with rich media require large amounts of bandwidth. Multimedia offers many career paths that can lead to occupations in such fields as graphic design, web design, animation, audio and video production, and project management. Conclusion in this chapter, the users have covered the following aspects of introduction to multimedia. What is multimedia? Components of multimedia. Web and Internet multimedia applications. Transition from conventional media to digital media.